Hello. In this screencast, I want to show you how <clears throat> to take a project in Alice and open it up in NetBeans. I'm going to start by opening up Alice. Now, again, I'm using a Mac. Uh, you're going to do the same thing on the PC, though. You're going to open up the Alice application and create your Alice world. In this case, I'm going to use an Alice world that I already have. <clears throat> I'm going to open it up in Alice and show you how to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a project that I've already done. At this point, if you don't have a project you've already done, uh, you would uh, go ahead and create your, uh, grab your template and create your Alice World file. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Once you are finished and your Alice project works the way you'd like it to, uh, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and make sure that you save it. You'll do a save as. You'll find a location on your computer. I'm going to save this to my desktop and give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call NetBeans Test. You'll follow whatever naming instructions you've been provided in your assignment. But in this case, I'm just going to call this NetBeans Test and I'm going to click Save. Once you have saved out your project, if you want to open it up in NetBeans, you're going to go ahead and find NetBeans. And you'll first of all, you'll need to make sure you have the plugin installed. We went over plugin installation in the uh, video that I put together about downloading and installing NetBeans and the Alice uh, and the Alice 3 and the Alice 3 beta plugin. Uh, you can go back to them and review that video to find that information. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let me get out of here. Let me close this project that opened up. And when you create a new project, uh, if you have the Alice plugin installed, you should see uh, under Java, under the categories of Java, you should see Java project from existing Alice project. We're going to go ahead and click on that and then click next. It's going to ask us for our Alice World file and where we can find that. I'm going to go ahead and that's going to be in my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And I think I called it. And you're going to need to remember the location and the file name. I called mine NetBeans Test. Um, <clears throat> from Alice and the to NetBeans section, it's going to ask for a project name. And it's going to ask for where do you want to store the NetBeans the resulting NetBeans project. Uh, I'm okay with where I have it. You're going to want to make sure that if you're doing this in class that it's on your thumb drive. Uh, if you're doing it at home you're going to make sure it's in an accessible location. Uh, I'm going to click finish and it's going to do some work converting that project to make it work with NetBeans. If I wanted to edit the operations of my project or look at the files, first of all, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to expand the source packages and then I'm going to expand the default packages. The method that we're looking for that does most of our work is, is the um, run method and it is located in the my scene, uh, Java file. You will see a number of import statements at the top of the page. These import statements tell Al, uh, import all of the libraries that the Alice functionality uses. Uh, you'll see uh, uh, all kinds of declarations for things. You'll see all kinds of what we call methods. We'll talk about methods in um, CIT uh, a little later in CIT 111 uh, in the next couple of weeks. Right now we're going to scroll down here and uh, concentrate on the run method. The run method in Alice is the same as the main method in Java. You'll notice that uh, this Alice world that I've been working on is my uh, is my space colonist that I had turn around and say my name. This would be the say my name assignment uh, from week one. So what you can see here is I have a number of uh, methods that are being called number of commands space colonist turn uh, turn right uh, 0.5 meters uh, delay for one second uh, then say uh, the string my name is Brandon Simbeck delay for another second say my net my net ID is B Simbeck 
pause for another second, and then turn to the left uh, another half of another half of rotation. Uh, if you want to run this project from within NetBeans, you can do that. You're going to click the play button, and it will pop up in a window that looks just like an Alice window, uh, that looks just like the Alice movie window to play your movie. As you can see here uh, in the from the code, there is a lot of setup that goes on that makes this possible. Um, you would then make any your the instructions to your assignment or the exercise that you're working on would include uh, all of the information that you would need to know where to go to change and what to change. Uh, at this point, this this lecture is not to show you how to how to do that, uh, that would be outlined in your assignment or your exercise. Uh, all I wanted to do was walk you through the process of moving uh, this into NetBeans, uh, moving it, taking an Alice project, and then moving it into NetBeans. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email is bsimbeck at ccac.edu. Uh, I thank you and uh, look forward to seeing you in class.